Hi, this is Dr. Ronnie Bannock, and welcome to another episode of the Migraine Minute, my video series where I share my best tips on how to improve migraines and headaches naturally. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a very common visual symptom that many people with migraine experience, and that visual symptom is known as visual aura. Uh, many people refer to it as optical migraines or ocular migraines, but it's actually a misnomer. The correct term is visual aura, or A-U-R-A. Uh, the medical term for that is scintillating scotoma. Now, if you've experienced this, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It usually, this disturbance or visual aura, usually starts off as a small gray spot in your vision, blocking your central vision. And then that gray spot begins to enlarge and also begins to shimmer. And usually it has a C shape or a semicircular shape and that shimmering can be multicolored. Uh, oftentimes there's geometric shapes within that shimmering. Uh, sometimes it may just be very bright or it may look like water, um, waves of water uh, that are blocking your vision. And uh, eventually that shimmering grows and it becomes very large. It blocks half of the vision and then eventually it drifts off into the periphery. Now this symptom of visual aura usually happens in both eyes at the same time. You may think that it's one side or one eye, but it's actually in both eyes. So if you cover your eyes and check, you will see that it's actually in both eyes. And sometimes it may be followed by a headache, usually on the opposite side. So for example, if your visual aura is on the right side, uh, you will experience a headache on the opposite side or vice versa. Now, in terms of what causes visual aura, uh, we don't know exactly. We, we think that there is a change in the, in the blood flow to the back of the brain where our vision center is. We believe that there's a constriction of blood vessels in that area. There's an electrical change that happens within the brain that leads to these visual symptoms. Now, in most cases, it is benign, though uh, during the first episode, many people think that they're having a stroke. So it can be quite frightening when it happens, but uh, basically, after, um, if, if you just wait it out, it will pass. Again, usually it lasts about 15 to 30 minutes, occasionally a little shorter, maybe just a couple of minutes or occasionally a little bit longer. Uh, the most I would say is about one hour. It really should not last more than one hour. But if you wait it out, um, just just be reassured that um, that it's a, it's a phenomenon of migraine. It will pass. And in most cases, the majority of cases, it doesn't cause blindness. It doesn't cause any long-term um, uh, loss of vision. But there are a couple of tips I have to try to prevent visual aura. Uh, the first thing I, I would have to say is it is so important to try to stay very well hydrated on a regular basis. I can't tell you how many of my patients have told me that they, um, they experience this visual symptom um, and when I delve deep into what may have triggered it, most often they will say that they were dehydrated. Uh, the other possibility is that hunger can, or low blood sugar can also trigger this visual aura. So make sure you eat meals on a regular basis. Don't skip meals. Even if it's a small meal or a snack, make sure that you eat on a regular um, schedule. And the third thing that in many of my patients actually triggers the visual aura is caffeine. Uh, oftentimes it's, um, it's too much caffeine can trigger uh, this cascade of, of uh, changes in the brain that leads to the visual symptoms. But again, in most, most cases it is benign, so, um, so don't be too concerned. Uh, for your first episode, do make sure that you do get an eye exam just to make sure that it's not something else. Rarely it can be something more serious such as a retinal detachment or something else going on in the back of the eye. But at least get a baseline eye exam if you do experience the symptom. And then in going forward, try to avoid having the symptom by staying very well hydrated, eating meals on a regular basis, and trying to limit your caffeine intake. So I'm um, sorry, I went a little bit over time today on the Migraine Minute, but I did have a lot that I wanted to say about visual aura. Um, I hope that you learned a lot from this episode. I hope that, um, that now this makes a little bit more sense to you if you do experience visual aura and you know how to prevent it. Um, if you liked my video, please feel free to share it. Um, share it on your timeline if you're on Facebook or share it with family or friends who may also be suffering with migraine so they can also understand what they're going through. Uh, so thanks so much for listening uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the Migraine Minute.